what we have been doing is to try to understand, you know, a bit more about what is the epithelial mesenchymal transition in carcinoma. And suffice to say here on that cartoon that basically um, in the in carcinomas you have indeed very well differentiated carcinomas that almost look like polarized epithelial cells, but in most cases carcinomas are uh, having phenotypes, or what we would say intermediate phenotypes, uh, which are shown here also, so with junctional complexes that are altered. Sometimes you still have some adjoint junctions, but certainly you lose uh, tight junctions and so on. And uh, a number of cases also you lose obviously desmosomes. The full EMT mesenchymal tumors are relatively rare perhaps, and, and often what you would see is a mix of these intermediate phenotypes. And indeed, this is an important notion to consider because these intermediate states uh, can uh, keep reversibility uh, uh, of, of, uh, and they can really shift back toward a more epithelial-like state during the metastatic process. In fact, we hypothesized quite a long time ago that through dissemination, these would have to go through EMT, but then at the site of arrest, these cells would have to resume an MET program to try to uh, uh, expand in the secondary site. And indeed, this is illustrated on one slide that I brought from Bob Weinberg here, where EMT would occur. EMT would occur within the primary tumor. Here, he shows on this cartoon that EMT signal at tumor margin. In fact, it could occur within the tumor, near a blood vessel, perhaps, and, or near you know, a stromal cell like macrophages and so on that can send EMT-inducing signals once the cell have acquired a mesenchymal-like phenotype, they can acquire invasive properties, which facilitate their invasion through the stroma. They can finally reach tiny blood vessels, either in the tumor bed uh, or, or at the proximity of the, of the tumor, and uh, we see in uh, and, and, and circulate, and we are calling at this stage these cells circulating tumor cells, and finally exit at secondary site where they could potentially reform a secondary tumor if they indeed engage into the reverse process, MET, to re-engage the proliferative aspect of these cells. So we have been looking at all these processes in animal models and in humans, obviously, you cannot look at all these aspects uh, on life, obviously, uh, because <laughs> you cannot put a micro camera in a tumor. However, we have been looking at circulating tumor cells, and a lot of people have been looking at that, and including us, and what we have demonstrated so far that these circulating tumor cells are often an EMT-like phenotype compared to the primary tumor. I will come back to that. I think it's an important notion that we should consider for tumor progression. So from all these studies, people, and including Bob Weinberg and many others, have claimed that, and including myself, have claimed that EMT promotes carcinoma cell dissociation, EMT confer invasive properties, protect from apoptosis, confer stem cell-like properties, and confer drug resistance. All of that is debated today, particularly the stem cell properties aspect and the drug resistance, but, uh, and, 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 but there's lots of uh, accumulating data that really provide evidence for that. There's also discussion of whether ENT is absolutely important to promote carcinoma cell uh, dissociation and, and, uh, and, and distant dissemination. Obviously, there are papers that are obviously trying to sort of disprove that, but uh, be confident there is uh, uh, indeed a lot of data supporting this, and uh, there will be more in, in, in the near future.